underneath it. Well, would you look at that? Ooh. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. That oh, is pretty cool. <laughs> Bloody hell, fire. Sort out, which is a bit holy. Try to put in here. A bit of us there. Bits and bats. Use this pulley to bring a beautiful old trailer up here and get it. Oh, whilst this opening was here, there's a bit of a chew on, to say the least. I feel like this uh, deserves a video of its own. Getting that up here, using a really bad block and tackle that kept on jarring, and having the day saved by this little block and tackle. <laughs> Which, when you compare the two, <laughs> Very exciting. It's been a couple of weeks and it's time to take this off. Well, it has dried out, it's not blending in too badly. Just taking this out so that I can seal it up. Imagine painting in England in March and thinking it's not going to rain. Just have to brush that onto it. So just put some paint on. There's a bow in this timber. 
it goes up in the middle and I'm going to put an acro prop under this end, put it down to where it should be in the middle and then lift this up. Twist nails to put in. I can make some noise, it's in the sociable hours. These are the twist nails. You can see it's just got a bit of a twist to them. Just got that to do one, two, three, four, five, six, six more times. And when I've done this before, I've often wondered why I can't use a, a screw. And I looked into it, and apparently these can take a load of grief. As the as the floor's moving, these can bend a slight amount and they can take the grunt. Whereas these work hard and these screws and snap.
the joist hangers in and it's so funny when you compare them to compared to these old school joist hangers that I got off eBay and these are some pretty badass cast iron beasties aren't they? Not like those flimsy things. Having some spearmint and you can just see those tiny, absolutely tiny little little solar panels just coming up there which is amazing. There's a few of them. Grabbing some sun. Speaking of solar panels we've got a bit of sun there. The sun we're not doing too badly. 5135 watts and we've made, what have we made? Uh, it's 10 o'clock and we've already made 1.8 kilowatt hours which isn't bad uh, considering it's not the best of days, it's quite cloudy out there in theory, I should just be able to spin this round a spinning staircase! <laughs> check it out! that is so cool! When I was a young lad, I never dreamed I'd have a spinning spiral staircase. Not in my wildest dreams. Okay, so here are the rules. So we've got no smoking at any time, again, if you did miss that one. No spitting, farting or barking. So you just, uh, you can't do anything too human in here. No homosexuality, God forbid anyone gay comes in. No fighting. Owners leave vehicles at their own risk. We are not responsible for any loss or damage to persons or property. The owners. Double underline. Couldn't write that now, could you? It's just ridiculous. <laughs> and just in case you missed it when you come up the stairs, no smoking. It's proving quite difficult to finish off this area here with with wood um, because you know this is round and how everything meets is um, it's a bit tricky and there's a wall down there and it's at funny angles and things so I'm going to try and make a curved part of wood which the balustrade can go into here and then it can meet up with another piece I'm going to try to bend this round cleared up a bit more well, now I'm going to try and thread this bar into Think that's going to work. Thank you. What 
soon. Showing you what I'm doing here. I've got this going round that curve, and I've got it clamped up around there, and got it clamped on here, and I'm going to bolt it on to there. I think this is be the best thing to do. Uh, I'll maybe weld some studs onto this, uh, and then. And then we've kind of got that nice curve which we can put bits of wood onto and then it finishes this edge off and it'll go around there and run around there. Here, there's that's screwed in there, then it's bolted on there, bolted down there, bolted across there, then fixed on there so that curve goes round and it's fixed to fixed to the whole staircase. So now that means that I can take this support off and hopefully it'll be pretty solid. That looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, that feels really, really solid. Hmm. We'll get rid of that with a couple of shims, I think. Brain this shim in. Okie dokie, that's going to be the end of this video. Got this floor to do, continue that next time. I've uh, got a hole to knock out to there, but uh, yeah, really pleased with that. It's nice and solid, and I can put some reclaimed bits of timber going around there, um, going up over, and there's somewhere to finish the floor up to now. I know where I am. So, uh, so yeah, that, that's good progress. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you again.